Hey there, rock stars, and welcome to another awesome episode of Will It Smash. Today, we're gonna be smashing uh, this knife sharpener. Is this legit? Seriously? All right, let's get to it. So today's episode is a user suggestion by uh, one of my followers, Janae June. Janae, thank you for the suggestion. And um, she did not suggest that we smash a knife sharpener. She actually suggested that we smash a rock called Novaculite. And this happens to be that rock. That's right. Novaculite is often used as a um, knife sharpening tool. Um, this video, not sponsored by Smiths, by the way. But it could hit us up, Smiths. <laughs> and this rock is um, what's known as an Arkansas stone because it is commonly mined in the region of Arkansas and is actually regionally famous in Arkansas for being such a prominent stone. It was used by uh, native peoples hundreds of years ago, arrowhead tips and further tools. And later, when European settlers started to move into the region, namely French trappers, they would use the rock as a sharpening stone, sharpening their metal tools and metal axes and traps. And today it is still mined commercially as one of the most popular sharpening stones. Anyone worth their salt knows that if it's not an Arkansas stone, it isn't really worth it. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Yeah! Yeah, it's very commonly used when sharpening. If you're going to sharpen, always have some water on hand. I mean, you gotta get some water on it. Rock talk, ASMR talk. Sharpening some knives for five straight hours with Michael Stone. Anyway, <clears throat> God. Oh. <laughs> okay, don't try that at home, kids. But anyway, it is a really neat tool that's been used for hundreds of years um, in Arkansas, and I kind of want to see what it looks like smashed. Now, uh, Novaculite is actually very similar to a rock we've already talked about, chert, believe it or not. And chert is formed from tiny dead microorganisms called radiolarins. They have a skeleton, an exoskeleton made out of silica, which is silicon dioxide. And when they die, the little silica skeletons rain to the bottom of the seafloor and get compressed and squished, and then you get chert. And then if you take chert and you compress it and squeeze it just a little bit more, you get novaculite. Unlike a metamorphic rock, Novaculite is just on the edge in between kind of being a sedimentary and a metamorphic rock. Because it still kind of looks like a chirp, but it's not quite, but it's a little different, I don't know. And um, you know, you get the idea. But without further ado, let's smash this rock. Let's do it! All right, all right, rock stars. Will it first? Always remember your safety glasses. Smash! Yes, yes, it does. And now, interestingly, or I guess not too surprisingly, because Novaculite is just quartz. It's all silica. The fracture on it is just like obsidian. It has a conchoidal fracture. However, because of the tiny particles in Novaculite, it doesn't quite form a perfect edge like obsidian does, but it does have that conchoidal fracture. Pretty sweet and an awesome suggestion from one of my followers. Thanks again, Jenna, for an awesome recommendation. I'm gonna take these pieces and glue them back together now so I can reuse it later maybe. I don't know, I probably won't do that. Um, thanks uh, so much for watching. Be sure to smash that like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't to already. And as always, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see smashed next time. Till then, rock stars, have a fantastic rest of your week and keep on rocking. Yeah.